Do you want to screen print more efficiently? Well, watch this video because I'm going to take you along with me and screen printing three different designs just off of one screen. So let's go. All right, guys, first things first, you want to grab the garments you're picking. All right, guys, first things first, you want to grab the garments that you're printing on. In this case, we're printing on the hoodies. And as you saw, we're printing right here on the sleeves, one on this side, one on this side, and then the left chest. In this case, we don't have many hoodies. We just have these. And then we also have some great ones that we're going to print as well. So you want to count those up, make sure everything's good. And then let's move on to making the screen. All right, guys. And the next step is to go ahead and get your transparency films printed in the correct sizes. And now let's go expose these. All right, guys. Now you want to go ahead and choose the right mesh count and grab your screens and go ahead and expose them. In this case, we're just printing letters and words, even though these are super tiny. I believe a 156 mesh will be able to print it properly because this is what I used last time when I printed this. So I'm going to grab that. Before I do that, I got to turn off the lights, turn on the safe light. So let's go do that. There it is, man. I know it's dark. I know you guys can't see me, but I can't do anything about this lighting situation because it does have to be safe. Now you want to go ahead and choose your screens. In this case, I'll just grab a 156. And since these are super small, I'll be able to squeeze all three of these prints onto one screen. And I'll show you exactly how I do that. And while we're here, this drawing cabinet, I did make this out of just two by fours and just wood that I got from Lowe's. So if you want a video on how I did this, it'll be dope. I could definitely cook that up if you guys are interested. It holds about 20 or 20 plus screens. So yeah, I mean, it works perfect than buying like a $300 unit that other companies sell. And I was able to paint it, make it black and red, add whatever logos I wanted. Still need to paint the inside, but here I have like a cool door and then here I can add like logos and stuff. I still haven't got to that, but I will. Now this is where I'm gonna expose the screen. This is where I line everything up. So in this case, I tape up my design. And my chest print is approximately right here. I had the line set up, so that's pretty easy to do. And then I just, yeah. So I'm going to attach that first. So I simply just lay this, line it up with the corners, and make it so that it sticks. And then now what I'm going to do is do the same thing for this, the sleeve design. Tape it up. Then you want to make sure you're putting this the right side. In this case, I'm going to be printing on the sleeves right here. And the words should be visible or readable from the person looking at you. So it should be readable. I don't know if I'm making sense, but it should be readable how you guys see it right now. Not from my viewpoint. So in this case, I don't want the words like this. I want it like this. So line it up right here. And... Then you just grab the same screen, flip it over the other side, and do the same thing. Now this saves me screens because this is my left chest print, right sleeve, left sleeve. And I'll show you exactly how I could do that on the press without any mess ups. Now I'm going to go ahead and expose this screen. Unit. I'm going to put it a second down just because of the high details. All right, guys, now that the design has exposed, I'm going to bring it to the washout booth with the same yellow safe light around me. Now you just want to rinse, spray it on the outside. <laughs> As you, can see, as you can see, the design is already starting to show up. You just want to rinse it with water on both sides. Now in the first 30 seconds or a minute, you want to just spray it with water and not add so much pressure because you want the 
emulsion to soak up the water, let it weaken the emulsion. It's basically battling it, making it weaker. So now you just wait about 30 seconds and then you go in with the pressure washer and fully take out the design. Also, if you haven't noticed, I did add a backlight, the yellow lighting. Well, I didn't do it, my dad did it. He actually added new lighting for me and it looks so much better than what I was doing. If you see my last video, you, you know that the backlight and this washout boots was always dull, but now it's bright and it really helps. So now let's go ahead and spray this out. You see how that just sprayed out in a couple seconds? That's what happens when you let it sit for a couple 30 seconds with the water. It weakens the emulsion. There you have it. That's how easily it was able to wash out. And just make sure everything is good. That's what the yellow light is for. And if you've been a part of my other videos, you know that my biggest problem on press was this emulsion always drying up in the openings of the screen, which always led me to reclaim screens, reburn screens. So now I got a handy dandy um, air hose system. So now I can just spray the water out. Let's hope that actually works. Um, now this allows the screen to dry even faster as well because I'm blowing all the water out. Here's what my washout boot system currently looks like. I do have a filtration system that I rigged up. And yeah, this, this rig was actually created by me, but I got some of the ideas and stuff from a lot of YouTubers such as Rye Beats. Rye Beats, I actually got the idea for the the five gallon strainers from you and the bucket idea from you. And then I just created this. This one I actually got from Mikey Designs. And then I just jerry rigged and added on to it and it worked. Um, here's how it's looking. And then this is the lighting system that my dad built for me. Very cool. Where this is the LED lights, the yellow lights, and he actually added me some switches. So now, if I want to switch to it, I could turn off the yellow. Turn off the regular white for when I'm washing screens. Here's how that looks. And then the yellow. White. So that turned out amazing. That was really, and it looks like it's a clean job. So I'm very grateful for that. Other than that, let's move on. Also, please don't judge the mess. I'm still trying to work and move this thing into here. I did just get this washout booth recently, and I recently did start using it. So I really need to organize. My goal is to organize, make a new screen rack over there. Maybe I could record that. If you guys want me to record me making a screen rack in here, let me know. and I'll definitely record that. And I'll clean this up and show you guys. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now that the screen is dry, you want to go ahead and put it on the press and tape up the edge so that no ink flies out of the screen. Now, when I say tape it up, I mean... Now, when I say tape it up, I mean tape up the edges or anywhere where it's open because where it's not covered with emulsion or else the ink will just go through those open parts and leak to the bottom of the screen. And you don't want that to happen. Now this is my leg slash sleeve palette. This is what I'm gonna be using today for the sleeves. We're gonna be printing right here. Ignore this. I've been doing a lot of hoodies and all the fibers always stick to it. But you wanna go ahead and put this on here. Now the reason I did two screens because two um, prints is because 
there's no reason to make two screens for the left and right sleeve, especially in this case, because I can just drag it and line it up to the middle line and lock it in place. Now this will allow me to print the left sleeve and then when I move over to do the right sleeve, I just drag this over and do the right sleeve. Now let's do a quick test print, spray some spray tack down. that on there. Let's do this test print. Perfect. Everything's printing perfectly. Now, I just wanted to let you guys know that the screen, that the print area is still clogging up in some of the print locations, such as the openings of the screen. So I'm going to take a damp rag, like you guys said, to do, and I'm going to clean it off and just hope that fixes the problem. This has usually fixed the problem before, so I'm sure it will. And you just want to wipe both sides. And this has been fixing the issue most of the time. I'd say 80% of the time. And let's go. Let's see if it fixes it. It better. Yep, work like a charm. Thank you. Now that everything is printed well, let's go ahead and print an actual hoodie. So what I'm gonna do is line this. And again, make sure you're printing on the right sleeve because if this design was supposed to be printed on the left sleeve, you don't wanna accidentally print it on the right sleeve. So in this case, this design is supposed to be printed on the left sleeve. So that is exactly where we're going to print it. There you have it. It's coming out perfect. All right guys, now that I printed this first design, I'm gonna show you exactly what I do to print the other design. This is why just putting it all on one screen isn't that bad of an idea. Now what I do to print this design is just slide it over, register it, boom, that's it. However, you should still always do a test print, even if it's the same screen. Just, hope. Just to make sure everything is printing correctly. And we're good to go. I don't know if that's a pinhole or not. Nope, we're good to go. Alright, now let's go ahead and print the right side. Load it up the same way, just the opposite side. Sleeve. There you have it. All right, guys, I just got done printing the sleeves. This right here looked hideous to me. So I said, why not just peel this right now to show you guys it's clean underneath. And I'm sure it's going to look cool. It's going to be satisfying. Oh yeah, nothing beats this. Yep, nothing beats that. This palette, I actually made this palette. I should buy more uh, palettes for sleeves, which I probably will do. But there you have it. Now I'm just gonna slide the regular palettes back on and get to printing the front sleeve. 
front sleeve. I'm sorry, I'm in front chest. Now what I do for the front chest is I just remove my screen for now, unlock it. Basically what I do is just flip this, put it back on the power, on the thing, whatever it's called, line it up to the chest, and now you're ready to print the chest, just as easy as that. Now, like always, Let's go ahead and do a test print. That looks good. Let's flash it for a couple seconds. All you need is about eight seconds. Anything more, you'll be over flashing, which will lead to curing issues. That's perfect. Speaking of the hoodies being done, we just got a package from Ryanet finally. We got new screens and new toys. These are actually CMYK inks that I'm going to be messing with and 230 mesh screens. So be sure to check out my new videos coming up because we are going to be messing with full color prints. Turned out clean. I really love this hoodie. Like I've always wanted to get a client to do something like this because it's, it's so dope. It's like a streetwear look. And how it's so minimalistic, but dope. And I did throw in a free t-shirt for the client. Just a little token of appreciation. That's smooth and clean as well. And yeah. There you have it guys, hoodies turned out great with the simple print in the front with the two sleeve prints. One is in English, one is in a foreign language. This is the type of style of clothes that I like to print. Personally, I like simple things such as this. This is more streetwear end, which is what I love, streetwear and simplicity. Simplicity is always better. And yeah, everything turned out great. So I'll let the client know to come pick these up. Also, this is one of the clients I love working with. I love working with clothing brands. This lady I actually met end of last year and i started working with her she started her brand and it's always dope working with her dope designs and yeah anyways i hope you learned something out of this video especially bunching up those three designs into one screen it was pretty easy to do and i hope you learned something and got some tips out of it anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video please tune into my other videos if you like my screen print videos and i do also do heat press videos all custom imprinting videos and if you have something you want me to get into and shoot a video on i'll definitely do that but like i said the package came in for the cmyk printing so i'll definitely be doing that soon so make sure you tune into that and like i said if you like any of these videos you're sure like this one this one and please be sure to smash this button right here it's somewhere here smash it subscribe like and follow me on instagram it's the same handle as my youtube channel at aesthetic imprints and i'll see you in the next one